you guys we're in my bathroom as you can see I'm fresh face I do have moisturizer on let's get into this makeup routine this is the setting spray that I used on my face it's the Smashbox we're going to be doing the MAC Studio Fix Foundation along with the Anastasia Luminous. The, I really love mixing these two foundations together. Why? I don't know. Um, sometimes I mix it with another foundation but it plays well together. I'm using one of my favorite brushes right now. This is a Clinique brush. And I like it because it's like a paintbrush. It just paints right on. This is um, my makeup routine. I'm not a pro. This is just what I do. As you can see, I have a blending brush. Just a blending brush by Alta. And I did spray some of my setting, um, how, uh, my setting spray on there already. This is how my face is looking thus far. I don't apply layers of makeup on my skin. I don't bake. I don't do contouring. I don't even know how to do it. I want to learn how to do it. But I really don't think I need it. I really just would like to learn. The reason why I put foundation on my lips is because if I decide to put a lipstick, it's just a, a matte foundation for my lips. Your, your lip will take on whatever color you use better. But I haven't decided if I was going to even use a lipstick yet. So this is what it's looking like thus far. Clearly this is my first time filming a makeup tutorial. So get better over time. So now I'm going to go straight in with my setting powder for my under eye and I'm using the Laura Mercier setting, setting powder. I'll link everything that I used. I'm going to go under my under eye again and make I'm going to go under my under eye again to make sure that there's no creasing on my under eye and then I'm going to immediately set each eye now I'm doing the other the same Thank you. 
if setting powder gets anywhere else really I don't care I'm not I'm not that serious about my makeup routine really I do love makeup but I just have fun it's not it's really just relaxing to me to apply so it's not I don't you know take it that serious in my opinion my biggest thing with makeup is to make sure that your makeup is matching your skin all right so now I want to move on to my eyebrows next yeah let's go ahead and do my eyebrows So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, another favorite of mine, and this is what my face is looking like thus far. As you can see, I applied a really thin layer of makeup. So if you guys are looking at my nail, I smashed my nail in the door yesterday so such is life all right so this is my eyebrow thus far i'm going to go and do the other Hopefully by the time about hopefully by the time you see this next this video I would have already gotten this nail fixed but I really can't just go get it fixed I have to wait for my finger to heal it's like split by oof, the, it's like split in the middle of my nail bed it's horrible so this finger may be injured for a while what my eyebrows are looking like thus far. All right, so my eyebrows are all done. Now we're going to move on to, I wanna go back to my eyes now. So I'm currently using the Stila I will also link that I love it it stays on it just and it goes on so effortlessly and so that's what it looks like my uh, Lancome um, eye primer stuff. It really is irritating that I hurt my right thumb. I'll tell you that much. This is the Lancome. I will link it. You may not be able to see it because of the light. It's so bright in here. But I might go in with another layer because I really layer my eyelashes really good because it makes for easy takeoff at night. And this Tarte Tardius is my favorite of all I've tried all types of mascara. This is by far my fave. In the summer, on the water, I've learned the hard way. I can't wear it because this particular one is not waterproof. 
and I don't think they make a waterproof one in this particular um, for the tartiest. I know this one, this is by Tart as well. This is the waterproof one, but this one is still my fave. And I'm gonna tell you why it's my fave. It lengthens my natural lashes so well. And, you know, it's so buildable. There's never any clumping. It's definitely worth the splurge. So, this is eyelash number one. Marcier glow powder it looks like the other powder that I was using but it's not this glow powder has a gold top And this is a setting powder, the same as the other powder. And what I like about the glow powder is it is a setting powder. Also goes as a eyeshadow as well because it gives it a little shimmer. Keeps any creasing from occurring on your eyelid. So I'm going to use the MAC Cheeky, Bron Cheeky Bronze spray my brush with my um, smash box and now dip in the brush see that is so pretty to me usually just take my other brush and kind of fluff out any extra that went other places use the urban decay pencil I'll link this pencil it's the urban decay 24 7 waterline pencil so this pencil was created just for your waterline and I love it so much I've been using this pencil pretty much ever since it came out. Like, well, ever since it was introduced to me at all, I should say. And I'm sharpening with my MAC pencil sharpener. I love that pencil sharpener because it really works well. It just glides right on. I just keep stopping to make sure I'm in the camera. Now, we're going to move on to my cheeks. This is my favorite part of my makeup routine. I love to do my cheeks. So I'm going in with my MAC. Cheeky Bronze Mineralized Skin Finish. Skin Finish. And I'm just doing this. Love this like everywhere. I don't care, I don't care. It's my favorite. The Blush Baby, Sheer Tone Blush. It's this color pink and it's just so pretty. So if you have... 
um, if you're my complexion, this is like ooh, a bomb combination to me. Everything is, what do you call it? up for interpretation. Some people might say, no, I don't like it. I love it. Now I'm gonna go in with my last setting powder, which is the Laura Mercier, the translucent medium deep. The one that I used under my under eye was just the straight translucent powder. And the one that I used on my eyelid is yep called the glow powder but they're all setting powders so now i'm just going in with my brown powder and i always knock the excess off because i don't like my face to be powdery or none of that This one, the MAC Cheeky Bronze. My makeup routine is usually faster than this. It just seems so long to me today because I'm recording it, but trust me, I'll be done quick. We're going to move on to the lips. If I want, a lot of days, if I wasn't recording right now, this will be it. I'm using the Chet Chestnut by MAC Pencil. Sometimes I can talk with the list because I do have to wear my Invisalign retainer and my night guard at, or my bite guard at night. And it seems like when I wake up in the morning, my mouth has to get adjusted. Okay, like really, I can stop right here because my makeup routine is usually always very simple. I'm going to throw on a gloss. And I'm going to use what I'm loving on right now, MAC See-Through Lip Glass. So I have to be quiet because I should have taken my hair down first before I put this sticky lip gloss on. So I have to bite my lip like this or and pray that my hair doesn't get stuck to my lip. So hold on. This is my hair and as you can see it looks a little bit more shorter but it's more healthier my um, stylist gave me a good trim that was needed in my opinion and um, so when you see this video it'll be a couple weeks later but my hair looks so healthy this is my makeup routine everybody we are all done, okay? Did you enjoy this video? 
If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Welcome to Charlene Marie Lifestyle. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.